Genesis, Joseph's brothers sell him into slavery, and he finds himself in the house of Potiphar, a high official in the land of Egypt. Genesis 39 tells us that the Lord was with Joseph, and Joseph's master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord caused all that he did to succeed in his hands. From the time that he made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Later in Joseph's story, he's summoned to the court of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, because Pharaoh has heard of his ability to interpret dreams. Joseph explains to Pharaoh, it is not in me. God will give Pharaoh a favorable answer. After Pharaoh explains his dreams, Joseph says, God has revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do. After hearing Joseph's interpretations, Pharaoh says to his servants, can we find a man like this in whom is the spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, since God has shown you all this, there is none so discerning and wise as you are. It's Joseph's godly presence, his devotion to the Lord and his work, his desire to give glory to God and not to himself, and his ability to explain God's revelation that makes all the difference in this story, and ends up saving the nation of Egypt and all of Joseph's family. Now that's ministry to state.